Hey everybody, it's Luke over at Galaxy Tech Review, and today I am going to go over how to update your BIOS on the Acer Predator Helios 300. The first thing that you're going to want to do, of course, is go to Acer.com. And once you get to Acer.com, you're going to want to go to the Support tab, and then Drivers and Manuals. This is where you will download your BIOS file. Uh, you can either put in your serial number or go by category so we can select notebook and then we can select predator and the model number will be the first one there it's g3-571 if you need to double check what model number yours is if it is the helios it's going to be the g3-571 as seen uh, on in your system tab so then once we scroll down uh, you don't have to worry about operating system uh, these are BIOS files. You're just going to go to BIOS and firmware. And there are two there. Uh, usually your system either comes with 1.01 or 1.02. The newest one is 1.03. Uh, you can just download 1.03. You don't have to worry about 1.02. So you can click on download and then save as, and I like to save it to my desktop. And it will save this zip file to your desktop. So now you can close this out or minimize it, uh, whichever you would like once it's downloaded to your desktop. Now this is just a zip file on your desktop. Uh, you can um, go into it and double click on the EXE and extract it. And that's what I'm doing now. I'm just extracting it into a folder right on my desktop. And I'll close this out to make it a little bit easier. Now we have this folder that's called BIOS uh, 1.03 AA will go into there and there are two files. There's a readme that tells you what it does. It improves system performance and what to do and double click on the EXE to start the BIOS update. And that's all you have to do. Uh, to do this second part, since it will reboot, I am going to cut off here and uh, use a camera to do the actual BIOS update so that you guys can see that. So I'll be back in just a second. Okay, so now we're back with the uh, Predator Helios 300, and we are going to reopen that folder that we had on our desktop here, and sorry if it takes a few seconds to get everything into frame, but what we're going to do is we're going to just, uh, you know, you can look at that readme again, it just says double click the EXE, so what we will do is double click this EXE, make it full screen here to help you out a little bit. When you double click on it, obviously you just want to hit yes to run it for smart screen. And it'll extract and then it will come up and it will tell you what BIOS number you do have and what it's going to update it to. And of course it covers it up right afterwards with this screen that says, uh, do not unplug the computer, do not plug anything into it uh, as far as USB drives go or anything like that. Uh, and just your standard warning of don't unplug anything, don't turn it off while it's doing the update. And you can either hit cancel to go back to the, uh, to exit out of this, or you can hit okay to update it. Now my system happened to have 1.02 when I first got it, and now I'm updating to 1.03. When you click okay, it will automatically restart your computer. And this screen will come up saying that I have 1.02. It's updating the uh, newest BIOS to 1.03. And you'll see a counter uh, going up to 100%. Now this takes about all of 30 seconds or so to uh, actually get done. And what it's doing is it's writing the new BIOS for you. Do not worry if your model shipped with 1.01. Again, you can just download the newest BIOS, which is 1.03. And it says it's now starting the EC update. And then your computer will automatically reboot. Your system has now been upgraded. This is already done. It's already completed. Now this initial reboot does take about 30 seconds, uh, a lot longer than what it would normally take to reboot this particular computer. And that's just because it's finalizing the BIOS update.
Now it is rebooting. And there is our login screen. You can now log in as normal and your BIOS update is now complete. There is nothing else for you to do. You can now delete those files off of your desktop as you will no longer need them. Your BIOS is now officially updated and you are good to go. I hope that this helped you guys out. Uh, if you have any questions or comments, leave them in the comment section below. Uh, give a like if you liked the video. And uh, if you haven't subscribed yet, please do so, because that always helps me out. This was Luke from Galaxy Tech Review. I'll check you guys out on the next video. Thank you.